all over the world, young girls are being misled. They are told, come to America for work as a domestic or to find love and romance. Perhaps you'll find some nice young American in this land of dreams to marry you and take care of you. Perhaps you'll make great money and send it home to your parents. They see on TV that America is the land of great opportunity, the land where they can become anything that they wish to be. They're told over and over that this is the place to be. Then they arrive ready for the good life only to discover that they've been tricked. They're placed into bondage, their passports are seized, and they're told that they won't get them back until they've worked them off and they find themselves in a brothel whose cover story is that it is a legitimate massage parlor. Then they're threatened with sending those videos of their activities to their parents to keep them quiet. They have become slaves in the purest sense of the word. Their hope all gone, they now live a life of shame with the threat of worse shame and arrest. We're appalled when we see sex slavery going on in the Middle East. Young girls sold as objects on an auction block, but we tolerate sex slavery right here in our neighborhoods. Imagine living in a foreign country where you do not know the laws, where you barely speak the language, and where all hope is gone. Imagine being little more than a child in that situation. You don't know the language, customs, or the law. You barely understand life itself, and there you are, trapped. Now imagine being able to break free. Hello, I'm Bruce Walden. I'm the author of the book, That House at the Knick. It's the story of a young lady from Ukraine, recently graduated and looking for the good life. She sees an ad in a magazine for domestic workers from abroad, and she answers one of the ads and finds herself tricked into work in a brothel in the deep bush in Alaska's Knick River Valley. Though the story in the house are works of fiction, the story happens every day all across our nation. Do not be fooled. It's happening in every major city, right here under our noses. I'm in talks with an independent movie director here in the Matsu Borough here in Alaska uh, who is interested in turning this book into a movie. However, he wants it to be storyboarded so that the cast and crew and everyone can take a look at it, get a feel for what's going on. And I'm here on GoFundMe asking for $950. 600 of that will go for uh, storyboarding software for my computer. And another 350 will go for a dedicated computer because, frankly, mine's not that great. We appreciate any help that you can give us. If this is made into a movie and it makes money, a portion of that movie will be dedicated to fighting this infamous practice, the flesh trade, the human trafficking. I hope you'll help us. I thank you very kindly.